In the previous video, I covered how to solve simple log equations. In this case, we're going to do log manipulation. And these are different because the question starts with them already in log form and you're either adding or subtracting other log terms. You're also being asked to simplify, not to solve. So, that relies on knowing three rules. Firstly, that a multiplier on the outside of a log term is the same as a power on the inside. That if you have log A and log B and add them, then it's the same as multiplying inside the brackets. And the obvious reverse of that, minusing log B is dividing inside the brackets. Only the first of those is on your formula sheet. Let's have a quick look. There it is. This is our formula sheet. And there it is. Log x to the n is n log x. Now all these rely on the logs all being to the same base. But they won't change the base except perhaps for an excellence question. So we'll move to doing a few. See how they work. Our method, we have three rules, we apply rule one first. Always get rid of the multiplier outside the bracket before you do anything else. Then you apply rules two and three. And finally, you must not forget to simplify anything in the brackets at the end. So here we go. Simplify log AB minus two log B, all to some base that we don't know. So we do this, there's our rules out to the, the right hand side that we have to memorize and we apply rule 1 first. So the 2 on the outside becomes a squared on the inside. Then subtracting by a log is the same as dividing. So minus log b squared is the same as dividing by b squared inside the log. And AB over B squared can be simplified. You cancel the term top and bottom of B's, and we end up with log A divided by B. And that's our answer. We've combined all the terms, and we've simplified inside the brackets. You can also do it with numbers. So we have 2 log 3 minus log 6 plus log 5. And there's our three rules that we're going to apply, and we apply rule one first. So we get rid of the two here, becomes a power on the inside. We apply rules two, so plus log five is multiplying by that, and then dividing by six, and we could have three squared divided by six times five, it's still the same answer, but three squared times five divided by six is a number we can simplify that and not only can we we must if we want to get the answers and that gives us log 7.5 in this case I can actually check my answer because I can go into my calculator and run and I can actually do this question 2 log and we'll, we'll make it 2 times log 3 minus log 6 plus log 5 minus log 6 plus log 5 equals that and we'll just check out log 7.5 and it's the same number so I've done it right now notice that I can't actually write the numerical answer to this question because I don't know what the base is I've checked it out it works for base 10 but that does not mean that this answer is this number. We have to leave it in this format until you know which base it's in. We can check it using base 10, but we can't actually change that to a number. It is just log 7.5. So here's our method. We've learnt the three rules, got them nice and memorized before we walk in. We apply rule one first to remove any multipliers. Then we get rid of any additions by multiplying inside the brackets or division, dividing if it's a minus and then we simplify anything in brackets at the end. We don't calculate it as a number because we don't know the base 
that the log is working in.